Welcome everybody to the Future Space Collective, where we explore the world of products for imagination. Today, we have finally in hands the new Bliss Lights Evolve Galaxy Star Projector, a revolution on the original two versions of the Bliss Light Skylight Star Projector. As you guys know, if you watch the channel, if you follow the channel, I've done a ton of reviews on Galaxy Star Projectors. This has been a long time in the waiting to see what I think. We have both a green star version as well as a blue star version. All right, so what's new on these projectors? Enhanced creative combinations. White, cyan, blue, and red mixed to create lifelike cloud displays. All new color blending technology, high definition cloud reimagined for unparalleled utopian experience. Hmm. Fathomless moving stars, drifting pinpoints of light add to otherworldly sparkle. Okay. Now they've also added smart compatibility with Google and Alexa. So a few upgrades here. Never have my knife when I need it. Here is the unit, power adapter. And this is new, it looks like there's a little button now on the actual power cable. Also looks like they've taken one from the astronaut star projector with the astronaut's head. Now they've done a similar thing with the base so you can kind of point it anywhere, which is a rather smart design. You can see the power input here. It is a standard five volt, two amp. So you could easily run this off of a USB battery bank if you did want to make it battery powered. Okay, so that's essentially what we're looking at in terms of the body. We have the laser aperture here at the bottom and this part is what's going to throw that LED nebula cloud. Not much more to say, but to plug them both in and start testing them out. So let's get to that. Okay, so here are both Bliss Lights Evolve with the green stars and the blue stars. They're both on. One of the projectors is in this corner on my shelf over here, projecting to the ceiling with the green stars. And the other projector is on this end table over here, projecting the blue stars. Now they're both on the same mode. And what the trick of the Bliss Lights Evolve, this sort of new addition, is the inclusion of a white LED. So it's no longer just RGB, red, green, blue, but it's RGB and a white LED. So it's RGBW. And so this creates a bit of an interesting color effect. It's able to achieve um, quite a lot of different color variations and more of an interesting effect, as you can see here. Now, I don't know if this is going to be preferred or not. This is at full blast, full brightness. Again, this is with two projectors projecting onto the ceiling. I have a gray concrete ceiling, roughly 11 feet high. Okay, so I now have the camera pointed upwards towards the ceiling, and I'm gonna really quickly take you guys through the Bliss Lights app here. So as you can see on the main page here, it shows both devices. If I shut one off, it'll shut off the blue stars. And now we just have the one projector um, projecting from the shelf where I showed you earlier. And if we turn that off, but we turn the blue stars back on, we can see how it is projecting with just the blue stars. Now, let's go to the blue stars here. So just one of the projectors is on, but we still have, you know, you just wanna do blue, we can just go to blue. You just wanna to go to green, Okay, it's gonna go to green. Now I do find the green LED is not as powerful as the rest of them. So it's very subtle. But we wanna take it over here to red. It's got the red in there, red orangey. This is apparently yellow, but we go to more of a, the magenta purplish over here. And if we go back to the middle, uh, it adds that white LED back in there. Now at the bottom, we can control the brightness of the nebula cloud if we want to have it, you know, a bit more dim or a bit more bright. Okay, if we move over to the laser tab now, you'll see two more similar uh, controls here. One is for the brightness. So the brightness, 
will control just the brightness of the laser stars. Okay, as you can see, we're gonna put the laser stars back up to 100 here. This is the blue star model. However, the rotation speed still controls both uh, the rotation of the nebula and the stars. So if we put that to full static, both the nebula animation and the laser stars, you know, they're tied together. So under the laser tab or the cloud tab, that rotation speed is going to be controlling uh, for the both uh, nebula cloud and the stars anyways it also comes with you know a, a scheduler if you want to set up a schedule what, when to turn it on and off every day or a timer we can do that as well or we can have some included themes that it does come with uh, cosmos i believe is just all of the nebula and sky is a nice mix of the blue with the green and the white what does space do? Space is, you know, hanging more on that magenta color. Ocean, a bit more green in there. But anyways, if we click add scene, you can kind of save your own presets. And of course, the addition with the Bliss Lights Evolve is the fact that we can control them now with Google Home or Amazon Alexa. Computer, turn on Evolve Green Stars. So that's the other projector right there. Computer, turn on Evolve Blue Stars. Oh, the stars brightness were way down there from that last preset, so we're gonna bring them up. Computer, turn Evolve Green Stars red. So you can see you can even control the presets. Computer, Turn Evolve Blue Stars Red. Computer, turn off Evolve Blue Stars. There's also a timer you can set off, um, you know, turning on a countdown if you want to go to bed or whatever, and it'll shut off automatically. It's a pretty well thought out app. It's definitely much better than the previous Bliss Lights app, I find. So as you can see, I do think it is a pretty good effect overall. It does have a unique pattern, if you will, if you do like this style of nebula projection. But let's move on now to the technical tests and see how this stacks up. In addition, we're gonna throw in the Galaxy Projector 2.0 into the mix and we're gonna compare the Bliss Lights Evolve versus the Galaxy Projector 2.0 as this was the top rated projector that came out in my last Star Projector comparison video. It was the Galaxy Projector 2.0 that's leading the board. So I wanna see how that projector compares to the Bliss Lights Evolve. Okay, so just like the other comparison videos I've done, I start by moving my table and pulling out this sort of gray backdrop here to do all the technical tests. You can see I'm using a measuring tape and the projectors are gonna be placed exactly eight feet from our screen here, our gray backdrop. And this will provide the canvas to record the tests. So jumping right into the first test here, we have the Bliss Light Skylight Evolve with the green stars. And as you know, this is with the full RGB and W LEDs for the nebula. However, moving forward into this test, because we're gonna be comparing it with the Galaxy Projector 2.0, which is only RGB, we're gonna turn off that white LED. So we're gonna flip to that right now. So this is with the blue stars, and this is the RGB on the Bliss Light Skylight Evolve. As you can see, the green is not very prominent in this model, so if you are looking for vibrant greens, I definitely would not recommend it. But something we're all interested in is seeing how this compares to the Galaxy Projector. So here's the Galaxy Projector 2.0 now with the RGB. That is the same mode you were seeing just before this shot. And the Galaxy Projector 2.0, it's much brighter, it's much more vivid, it's much more saturated, and the green LED is much more prominent. So the most telling of all the tests is when I run the projector in magenta on all three projectors, 
Magenta is probably my personal favorite thing to run the star projector in. That is when the red LED and the blue LED are both maxed out with the stars. So this is what that looks like on the Blisslight Skylight Evolve with the blue stars. And this is the same mode, the magenta, with the Blisslight Skylight Evolve with the green stars. So not much changes um, from these two projectors in this mode other than the color of the stars. But we're gonna flip now to the Galaxy Projector 2.0 just before, just take a good look at this because these three tests here are the most telling because we're able to run the projectors in the same mode. So let's look at this same mode in the Galaxy Projector 2.0. This is what we're looking at. And as you can see, it's a different vibe. The stars are more spaced out. Uh, the red and the blues, much more vibrant, much more saturated, much brighter, much more powerful. But they don't have as wide of a dispersion in that nebula cloud. Um, so if that's something you're looking for, maybe you might want to consider the Bliss Lights Evolve. Otherwise, this pretty much wins for me in all other areas. Now here's the same test run side by side in that magenta mode. And if you look at the waveform monitor, that is the chart at the bottom, you can see that in the Galaxy Projector 2.0, the red and the blues are much higher reaching on that chart, meaning they're much brighter and much more vivid. And to me, personally, that is what I prioritize in a Galaxy Star Projector, just because you're typically gonna be using them in environments that you're not in complete darkness. So it is very favorable, the brighter the projector, the better. However, that's not to say the Skylight Evolve is bad in any way, because the nebula cloud it's making is quite interesting and does seem to be more fragmented or, or detailed in its pattern. Again, it comes down to personal preference, but from a purely technical perspective, it seems the Galaxy Projector does have an edge in this mode. Now we're taking a look at just the stars. We've turned off that nebula cloud. Now the actual green stars and blue stars on the Evolve are the same except for the brightness differences, uh, that being the blue is much more dim. But the Galaxy Projector 2.0, the stars are much more spaced out and much less grid-like. So if that's something that matters to you, you might want to take that into account that the Galaxy Projector 2.0 does have a bit of an edge here again um, in terms of the pattern, in my opinion. Again, it is it is subjective. If you like uh, your stars closer together, then maybe the Skylight Evolve is the choice for you. So I have one last test I wanted to show you. I just wanted to set up uh, both the Galaxy Projector 2.0 and the Bliss Light Skylight Evolve in more of a practical real world test instead of at a screen. So I've shut off the lights and I'm gonna point everything at the ceiling here. And again, we're comparing with the magenta. So this is what the Skylight Evolve looks like with the green stars in that magenta mode on the top of my ceiling. And here it is on the Galaxy Projector 2.0. Same again with the green stars in that magenta mode. Like I was saying earlier, it is a much brighter, much more vivid experience with the Galaxy Projector 2.0. However, the Skylight Evolve does have a bit of a unique nebula pattern. As well, the nebula on the Skylight Evolve does seem to be a little bit bigger, a little bit further reaching. And again, here's the shot side by side without the nebula cloud, just the laser stars. So you guys can get a feel for that and what you may prefer. And we're switching to the wide shots here. So they cover about the same amount of surface area. Again, the Skylight Evolve just has a more condensed uh, grid-like pattern, whereas the Galaxy Projector 2.0, the stars are further apart. Um, to me, this is a bit more preferable, but it comes down to personal choice. So for wow factor and imagination, I'm gonna score this the same as I would other Galaxy projectors on the channel. Yes, it does have some cool, new, exciting features, but I don't think it changes the overall appeal more so than other Galaxy projectors already have. Anyways, it's gonna score a 16 out of 20 for wow factor and imagination. Moving into functionality. Now overall, I did find that the new Bliss Lights Evolve does function quite well, and it does function better 
than the first two Blisslight Skylight projectors in terms of its controllability and the app, the user interface, among many other things. The fact that they've added in the white LED is a cool effect and I do think this does render some nice new color palettes to choose from in the Nebula Cloud. Of course, like all of these Galaxy projectors, it could still be brighter and more powerful, but I'm gonna score it a respectable 16 out of 20. Pretty good overall. Okay, moving into build quality. It is built quite well, I gotta say. It's got a little bit of weight to it. It's not the heaviest thing, but it does have a little bit of weight to it. It definitely feels sturdy, and I do like the spherical construction of it. Overall, I do think it is in the same realm or a bit of a step up from the previous iterations. You know, still plastic overall though. About what you would expect for a product like this. And I didn't point this out before, but there is a bit of a pattern in here, this like 3D cube pattern around the lenses and at laser aperture, which is a nice touch. That pattern is also on the base here. Um, the base is pretty lightweight. It does have legs to it though, um, to keep it from you know moving around. So I'm gonna give it a 15 out of 20 for build quality. Okay, moving into practicality now. Galaxy projectors are a practical lighting tool. I've always been a fan of them because if you are looking to create a sense of mood or ambiance in your space, you can literally just buy this one light, shut off all the other lights, point it at your ceiling, turn it on, and it's super simple, super easy to create that sense of ambience. So for that reason, I do think it is pretty practical and pretty usable. Along with the additions in this model, now you can connect it to your smart home and integrate it, which makes it super practical because you can you know, set timers and voice control it, um, all the automation that smart home, Amazon Alexa, Google Home has to offer as well as the design. The design's very smart that you can now literally point this thing anywhere, up, side, you know, down. So it is, it is clever. So overall, it's gonna score an 18 out of 20 for practicality. Which brings us to our last category now, value for money. So be sure to check the link in the description for the latest and greatest price. I provide price links to all the products in the description below if you wanna check the current pricing and deals. The price of these Galaxy projectors are always fluctuating, but as of right now, I'm gonna give it a score of 16 out of 20 for value for money. Bringing the Bliss Lights Evolve to a final total score of 81 out of 100. That's gonna get the thumbs up from me. I do think the Galaxy Protector 2.0 still has a bit of an edge on it, but they're different. They look different. It, it really just comes down to personal preference at the end of the day. Either of them are great choices if you are looking for a Galaxy Projector. If you haven't already seen my last comparison video comparing three Galaxy Projectors, including the Galaxy Projector 2.0, I urge you to check out that video. And I think that'll wrap us up for this one. Stay tuned. More projectors on the way.